tutorial time. How do you draw this hat? If you were to replicate this hat, how would you guys do? Most likely, you would. You would like, oh, the hat is kind of like this and like that. Uh, maybe you would like jump around and be like, oh, maybe it's like sort of this. And you just like eyeball it, right? Which is not, not, a, not bad. Um, cylinder and then construct around you. Construction is good too. So that's what, where I was going to get to. So that's one. Option two would be like, uh, yeah, like there's the center of the head and you start, you, you construct it, right? And here's the, here's like a, like a thingy here. So this would be version number two where I would consider, this is where I would consider already like a good idea. You know, it's like, uh, and then there's like this, this thing is here on the back, whatever. Now, what I want to get into is a better way. I think it's a much easier way, which is sort of... It's a bit more boring, in a, I think, but I think it works the best, which is when you look at, an, like, you look at the whole thing, right? And try to block out any shapes. So you look at the silhouette. Whoops, I deleted my layer. Look at the silhouette of... The, th the big silhouette of the thing that you're drawing, right? And you sort of, you sort of look like, oh, it's kind of like, uh, if you were to simplify it, uh, obviously, it's kind of like this, and then, and then this, and then that, and you sort of, you, you sort you start measuring out, for example, um, from this tip here to here you don't you don't do that first for measurement the first measurement you ever do you don't do that you try to simplify it as much as possible from point a to point b how long is my brush stroke so if my brush stroke is a and b here if my brush stroke is this long then from b to c right from b to c it seems to be about the same length, maybe like a third, a quarter, I don't know, like just, just a little bit longer. So I would do, I would erase this and I go like, okay, so maybe just a little bit longer like that. And here's C. Hi Fia, how are you doing? Okay, from C to D. How much, how, how, how big is uh, the jump, right? And of course the angle the the degrees also matter but for the sake of simplicity let's just eyeball it and you go like oh it's kind of like not quite halfway of b so you do sort of that too uh, yeah about there and here's my d <laughs> now from uh, d to e we measure again and you keep the angle in mind uh, obviously, I'm gonna remove this because I I eyeballed it. Um, from uh, D to E, I'm like, uh, actually, my D is a little too short. I just noticed. So about about there. All right. What's up, Lucius? I'll get you guys in a second. I'm explaining something important. Uh, from D to E, so we notice that it's kind of like the same, but a little bit shorter than A to B. So we sort of go like here. Uh, the spacing seems to be. If we were to connect, maybe my my E needs to be more like that. And here's my E, and I made a good effort to connect this. Now, the reason why you ignore. The first time around, when you look at something and you want to know how to draw that thing, you ignore all these, all these little bumps and stuff. It's because you are figuring out the mass, the overall. Ma it's it's a, it's not the exact mass. It's just you're eyeballing, right? 
So you, it's an approximation of the mass that you have here. Um, and now using this, you're like, oh, I sort of like can see the proportions of the whole thing. And then you take it to another level where you simplify. When you look at a shape, you forget that this is a hat, right? When I draw this, of course I am... Sorry. Uh, so when I when you look at this shape here, you don't outline it in a such intricate manner. You try to simplify it. So I actually, this part is pretty simplified. Here's one angle, then it goes in, then out a little bit. And now this part where it's a little, a little wobbly, I would probably ignore that because it's too intricate, right? So we go again from B to C, uh, the whole thing. Oh, actually, maybe I would go like up to here and then there's a tip, the tip here. I would probably do like a little triangle shape. Oh, sorry, a little pointy shape. And now you don't draw the rest. I would not draw the rest of the, ha the hat. I would draw the first part of the hat, which would be this here. Now, what shape, if we were to simplify it, what shape would this sort of be? You know, so let's go and go like this and like that. All right, so this is what I'm looking at. Now, all of all that you're doing here is you're looking at this shape, right? This is not a hat. Just forget forget the fact that it's a hat or whatever. Um, all you care about is the measurements of this shape. Here. I'm gonna gonna fill it out a little bit for you guys. Alright, so when you take this, again forget that it's a hat. You just look at I'm gonna actually go away from that there. You have this, this could be a million things, but you can tell it could be an eye, for example. There and this is something to this is a practice to force you to um, uh, focus on just shapes and ignore the the actual like content of photography or whatever it is that you're referencing, right? So this could be like could be an anime eye. This could be a uh, this could be a, a a ship like this maybe the wings or something. I don't, actually uh, not a, not a ship. Um, <laughs> I, I guess a plane or something. This could be like wings and there's like the cockpits here or whatever. This could be a bird. Right? There's a little bird here. Um, this could be literally anything. As long as you try to imagine, imagine it. Right? So let me go back. However, you are... Uh, yeah, if you focus just on the shape of this area here first, you could you could start anywhere you wanted really. Um, and you have this. Now you can go to the next area next to it, quite literally. I'm gonna do it in a in a orange. So the next area that we have is this little like spikes thing, like this whole section here. I'm going to outline it. This whole section here is another shape. Here. Completely, like, completely try to think of it as unrelated to an actual hat. You know? So you're going to do exactly the same. You're going to simplify it. You're going to go... You're going to go... Uh, actually, you can go small straight line here. Here. Uh, you got a spike in there, you got another spike in there, right, there you go, and then you go here, another spike, and now you don't draw the outside, you don't draw here, you draw the inside. Uh, I'm just gonna fill up that area and ignore, you could, you could either ignore this, it's really up to you how detailed you want to do this, I like to keep it simple, you could go like this 
if you wanted to you know for the sake of yeah there you go we can we can do that that's fine too um no actually wait uh no actually no i'm wrong because uh i drew over actually we don't even draw we don't draw all the way here because this whole the inside of this shape doesn't go there it stops here actually so we're gonna we're gonna fill in the rest there you go and now you have your second shape this is all measuring this is literally all measuring wait uh there you go i'm gonna fill it in and now we have our second shape this could be a number of things too on its own but we can see how long this side is <laughs> it's kind of hard to nail these without tracing oh i'll show that um i mean in the beginning if you're not used to then yes but once you practice it um i'll show you i'll show you these two examples uh of me doing it um just by looking at it right so you have these two shapes here and when you take them together now he's starting to look similar to what the hat is of course i traced it but okay let's do a little uh okay so we go from point a so it seems like it was here and then in we are we are ignoring these lines here because this is a guide of direction and space this is a ruler basically all right so we're, we're ignoring this this is just a guideline uh, of where it's placed uh at least this whole side from a to b um so maybe let's go like and do that uh, i could always refine it so let's see let's uh do that you try to get as close as you can you know give it a few tries especially if you're doing this digitally it doesn't like this is what i mean by you have to take time into really trying to be accurate because it's it's important so let's do like that okay let's say this is what i decide all right so we'll do this part here and now i'm always comparing the amount of space for example What's the space? You're always you're constantly uh, measuring. So what is the space of this? Like, how much does this little pointing triangle here occupy compared to mine? So we can already see that mine is a little fatter. It should be slimmer uh, by comparison, right? And then the next area, it's like maybe this. You always subdivide when when measuring things. So from this whole area here, um, like where would it go? So if C goes here, oh, I actually didn't draw the rest here. Let me go. So I, I eyeballed this much. Uh, there you go. Uh, it's close enough, you know. That that it has kind of like a rectangular, sh a skewed rectangular shape. You guys see that? Like if I just subtract this area if i just subtract this uh there you go you if i just do this you get it, it be, all of a sudden it becomes um it becomes really easy right because it's just a skewed sort of rectangular shape it has four points the top part is longer uh then the bottom part and this side here uh, sorry and the side here is longer than this other side right so all of a sudden by by um measuring smaller portions of a bigger portion you can start making sense of something that looks really um complex right so i would continue and do the same so i could go here do that um the little the little peak right there uh do b to 
again b2 c like that and now this is another shape right here uh, where's my blue here so this is another shape right down here it's another it's a it's a it's a square a skewed square with a little pointy like pointed triangle a triangle shape in the end all right so you do that like over and 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 over again like all the goddamn time um and one last thing i'm gonna mention for this mini tutorial uh on uh measuring is the negative shape i'll do this one here as the last example and then i'm gonna continue painting and shut the hell up but this is actually i i i think it's really really important thing to keep in mind is the negative space of the things that you're uh measuring okay let's let's just do that Okay. Constantly comparing, looking at other pieces, etc. So I rush this one quite fast. I wouldn't rush. Oh, hello. I think my. I think my Wacom just died. I gotta, I gotta restart it. All right, I'll do it with the mouse. It's fine. I'm almost done with the with the example. So, this little sh the orange shape that I drew. One thing that helped me to measure that was the space, the negative space. So the blue, the blue, the the uh, unpainted parts here. I'll do it with green. These unpainted parts, the outside of the silhouette is actually really 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 important to start noticing um where you should place your lines and how you're you're uh, measuring right so in this case i can use the a to e line and then fill up this area here then i would call this the negative I mean, people do call this the negative, it's not, it's not just me, space here. And this is the shape you have for the negative space. If I, if I am, oh shit, I was pretty close, Pog! Even though, um, due to me practicing this often, even if I do it fast, I'm used to looking at things, um, and like, having pretty good guesses, is what I'm trying to say. So, um... Again, the right side was eyeballed. All I did was measure one thing to another, and it does require practice. But if you do this, it's a bit boring in the beginning, but once you start seeing the results, it can be quite exciting. Um, I would start with simple things. A cup, uh, like a, f a simple flower, because it has, very, it has repetitive shapes, etc. Maybe like a bird. Birds have very simple shapes, especially if they're perched. Um, I would go with simple things first for you to get used to the whole measuring thing. But I'm telling you, if you do this for your studies, so let's say you're studying anatomy, trust me, you're gonna get a lot better really fast too. Because this will force your brain to constantly compare. It will help you with your proportions, but also you'll get so used to um, doing things this way that the first impression when you look at a reference, you're like, oh, okay, I can tell that this part is this shape, the, this other part is that other shape, etc. Let me put this together. Bam, you already know how, how for example, this hat looks, you know. Um, oh, my Wacom is back. There you go small tutorial on uh, 
measuring 